Hello everyone, my name is Brian and I'm a huge, huge volleyball fan. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to what I think is one of my favorite, favorite matches of all time, Cuba against Russia in the 2000 Olympic Games Finals. In my opinion, this is one of the best Olympic Finals ever, ever. We have on one side, the Russians that are very tall players, very powerful players that play very high balls. And on the other side, you have, uh, I would say the most inspiring teams of all times, Las Morenas del Caribe. I just love those ladies. Their legacy is still alive. They have inspired very generations, so I'm very excited for this match. This is a fifth set match, so it's a very, very long match. And in my honest opinion, this is the best, best gold medal match ever, ever played. So I think that we can start. We have Aguero at the service. Aguero was still playing for the Cuban team. And then she moved to Italy and she started playing for the Italian team. And she made a great job, great, great job for the Italian team. Oof. Great set by the Russian team. Great. Titi Chenko, she's so young right there. Back in the day, she was one of the best middle blockers in the world. Great, great, great spike by Godina. Great. You made Carolis at the service. Great pass by Delibero. Oof. The block was not very well positioned right there. We have Fernandez now at the serve. Oof. Tough pass. Aguero and Acosta, they love setting each other. The Cuban players in general, the two setters for the Cuban players back in the day, love playing that ball. We have Titishenko now with the serve. Great pass by the middle. Back in the days, the middle blockers used to receive. Oof, great spike by Aguero. Oof, that was a great, great ball. Torres was just walking around in the net. She was not even trying. Oh, that was a miss serve. Now you have Sokolova the serve right now. Oof, nice pass. <laughs> great dig by Godina, great dig. Oh, and then Yumilka Ruiz misses that ball. That body, girl. Now we have Sokolova at the service. She is such a good player. Great pass. Oof. Torres touches the net. She had three, three blockers jumping up on her. Three blockers. Oof. That was a big touch by Rebecca Torres. <laughs> Great ball by Estes. Or Artamova. Back in the day, she was still Artamova, so I would call her Artamova. One of the best Russian players ever, ever. If not the best. You have Artamova, Sokolova. I will put also their Gamova, Goncharova. Kosheleva, but yeah, out of all of those players, I would say that Artamova is at the top list. She played in six Olympic Games. Six Olympic Games, guys, that's a lot. So now the Russians have their set point. Oof. And Yumilka Ruiz misses that serve. So the Russians now are ahead, and please guys, remember, the Cubans were leading that set and the Russians were able to tie the game and then win that set. Amazing. Now we're in the second set and we are tied at 18. And Torres missed that ball actually. She had three Russian blockers jumping up on her. I mean, if I would be playing against Cuba, yes, for sure I would be paying a lot of attention to the media blockers. Godina the serve, great pass, <laughs> great after. This is the thing about Torres, her game was just, she was so elegant when playing, she was just, 
it looked like she was just hanging around the net and then she just saw a ball and she decided to spike that ball down in the court. That's why, in my opinion, she's the best middle blocker ever. And she retired very early. She retired from the national team in 2002. So she was actually very young. She was 25. She was, I think, 16 years old when she won her first gold medal match in 1996. And yeah, amazing. I mean, when I was 16 years old, I was in a small village in Italy. I was not even playing volleyball. I didn't even know what was volleyball at the time. And she was winning gold medals, of course. So now you have Aguero at the serve. Oof, overpass. And Aguero setting the ball. And your Milker wrist gets blocked. I mean, the Russians are very well known for their block. So this is what they're doing, especially in an Olympic finals. This is what they need to be doing. Artamova at the serve. Great pass. High ball. <laughs> and great spike by your Milker wrist. I think that that ball was over the net. She's so beautiful, by the way. Look at her. Oh, amazing. She was such a great athlete back in the days. And she still is, I think. Now we have Fernandez at the serve. Oof, tough pass. A very high ball. Oh, great defense by the Russian Libero. And then you have Sokolova. Her technique was impeccable. Impeccable back in the days. She was able to play in every single position. She would be playing as a spiker, as a middle blocker. Is she playing right now? I'm not sure, but I think that now she's Polish something. Yes. She will be a great libero in our days. <laughs> the attitude by Yumeka Ruiz. She was a great, great leader for the Cubans. Great leader. I mean, replacing Mireya Luis for sure was not an easy task. So that's why you need to have that kind of attitude towards the game. You need to make sure that Mireya Luis is not being missed. So now we have a regular bird on the serve. Ooh. That's light behind by Sokolova is amazing. That's what I was saying before. She was able to play in every single position. She was able to spike every single ball, a high ball, a quick ball, a middle blocker ball, everything. The Russians are serving right now. Great pass. Great set and great attack. That was a quick ball. And you didn't see that quick ball very often with the Cubans. Amazing, amazing. That was a great pass by Torres. A middle blocker passing. I think that right now we have only the Dominican Republic that is having one middle blocker that is able to pass. In today's volleyball world, you don't see that very often. We're still in the second set. We are tied at 30. Artamova at the serve. Oof, tough pass. High ball. And then the Russians are doing what they're best at doing, blocking every single ball by the Cubans. Oof, the Russians are ahead. Tight pass, high ball, uh, and then Costa gets blocked by the Russians and the Russians, they're ahead two sets to zero. Wow, that was such a long, long set. It finished 34 to 32. The Cubans are two sets down and need to push a little bit harder if they want still a chance to win the gold medal. We have Costa to serve right now. Oof, bad pass by the Russians. There's a free ball right there. Great pass and great attack by Regla Torres. This is the thing, she wanted that ball. She said, stay away from that ball. That ball is mine. And she passes that ball to the setter and the setter sets a quick ball to Torres and she puts the ball down. And she looks like she's not even trying. That level of calm, it's very hard to see nowadays. We now have Gamova joining the team. She's so young. 
Great pass. Oof. Nice block by the Russians. Oof. That was a great, great play by the Russians. They were covering their attackers. They were trying to put that ball back in play, playing it against the Cuban block. That was great. Now you have Francia joining the team. I think that is in order to improve the reception of the Cubans. They need to win this set. Oh, they target Francia. <laughs> great, great attack by Reglabel. And you know what Francia did? She was not pushing in order to have a perfect pass. She realized that the team was struggling passing, so she decided to put the ball very high in the middle of the court. Then the setter came in, set the ball, a very high ball, and Reglabel puts the ball down. Now the Cubans are back in the game. Now guys, we're in the fifth set. The Cubans were able to tie the game and this is the final, final set. Now it doesn't matter what you just did in the past set. If you really want that medal, you need to push it a little bit harder. Now you have Sokolova the serve. Nice pass by the Cubans. <laughs> and that was so great. <laughs> great, great attack by Yumeika Ruiz. That was a very high ball and she managed somehow to find a seam between the Russian blockers. The level of athleticism right there was amazing. Now you have Torres at the service. Oof, great block by the Cubans. Great block. That was a great block by Fernandez. Maybe once, but not twice. Those high balls are very hard to spark. Great reception by Torres. <laughs> Great attack by Fernandez. She had two Russian blockers jumping up on her and she managed anyways to put the ball down. I think that in today's volleyball world, the only player that somehow plays that kind of ball is Adenizia from Brazil. And even in that case, you do not see that level of athleticism. We have the first gold medal point by the Cubans. They are 14 to 7. So we have Costa the serve. Nice pass by the Russians. Great touch by the Cubans. And then Aguero sets that ball for Torres and Torres puts that ball down without any Russian at the net blocking that ball. Las Morenas de Caribe managed to win their third consecutive gold medal match in an Olympic Games. I will be crying. <laughs> like, I will be doing the same exact thing that they are doing. I will be crying. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And the Cuban team made an amazing, amazing job. They were down two sets to zero. And somehow they managed to come back and force the Russians to a fifth final set. Wow. I think that that was amazing. Yumilka Ruiz, Regla Torres, Aguero, everyone, everyone played an amazing, amazing game. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.